Another? A rum flip this time. And where'd I find fresh eggs in this wretched town? There's little else but piss and insects. Aye, we're working on that. Ah, ah. Dear lady, what do they call you? And when ah. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced. But never, lady. Oh, <laughs> well, good Leanne. I, I, uh, oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Bag of shite! Do you hear me? It's a bag of bloody shite! It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack Nassau. You'll see, mark me. It's no ruse, Vane. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Walk with us. Can we? There's trouble brewing. In the absence of any clear ideas, I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, Ben. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land for free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, worries, idleness, over, idiocy. Not a sunbeam of difference me. between here and London, then, eh? That is right, man. Taking a wide view, we're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Aye, Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. I can't believe the shite I'm hearing drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting pretty in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish fleet that sunk two years back would have some medicine. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Great thatch. Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the wrecks as soon as you're able, Kenway. Remember, Thatch. Keep your cannons, Court. Piss off, Ben. What might you be requiring? Excellent. Good day. <laughs> Devil in his hole, Thatch. This is a darling galley. Thirty-two guns, is it? I lost count of forty. 
You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that haven't been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. Says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch. I found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is quite spoilt. Plague and perish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Says Ornigold, a pirate now too proud to call himself one. Now he prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. If a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil, and all men will submit. And would you be the devil? Big 
show. Give your quarry something to fear. Some hellish thing from a fever dream. And men will drop to their knees, pleading for their lord before all else. <sighs> oh, God. Looks fine. Of course it does. You can find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, I'll handle it myself. What's happened here? Were you attacked? Other way round. It were Blackbeard who struck first. Open fire on a British man of war, the pillar. What in God's name for? Still searching for medicines. But he's gone bar me if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. See that? It's her captain, the Queen Anne's Revenge. And she's in a bad way. No time for a vote. Thatch is outnumbered. The crew will understand. Beat the quarters, lads! We're sailing into hell! Ease off the wind! Thatch is overwhelmed. I'm going ashore. I'll keep the jackdaw circling. Of a noble car! Medicines, I hope you mean. Aye, a galleon nearby. If we crack these lobsters quick, we might catch up to us. Hang in there, Bonnet. Keep your arms up and your back to the sea. And all your book learning, prepare you for a scuffle of that sort, Mr. Bonnet. Oh, not in the least, no. And there's more to be learned by doing and reading. Remember that. You don't do nothing subtle, do you, Thatch? Legends ain't born from mildness. Gentlemen, our galleon has reappeared. Heads up. Back to my ship, quick as you please. She'll not slip away now. Oh, this is too much. I'll see you back to your jackdaw when the smoke is cleared. But for now, I need a helmsman. Call it out. Loose the mains! And head straight for that bloody ship. We'll have our medicines in little time at all. It's all but sunk! I'm seeing the devil you promised, Thatch. Uh, I'd have shown them my angel if they'd taken quarter! But well, there's no going back now! So ram that bastard with all the wind you've got! Find the cabin. 
happen and end this. Shite. You'll be hanged and sun-dried just as them there were in Boston. The king's called for a pardon. <laughs> Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middle intake. But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hans. We cannot resupply Nassau out here by force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. Hello! Victorious! I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Meet me in Charlestown. One month from today. Bonnet? Flying your own flag at last? Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir! A fair good morrow to you! complete disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for nonsense! These were my only terms. And yet, six days of pure fucking sight. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. By Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you, or to press you into my service. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, oh, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise since. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Aye, and in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Get 
Douse them all. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet. Someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Clue up. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! I'll be back with the medicines. Aye, sir. From us. I think it's true what they say about Blackbeard, that fire strikes out from his head, as if from some volcano. If he's not the devil himself, then surely he's made some pact with hell. Only be thankful his ship remains anchored and hasn't torn a path into the art of Charlestown. Bloody pirates. Someone ought to do something. They'll be hunted down eventually. Every last one of them. Two old gators come for their supper. Right, uh, me old mucker. Warm tonight, isn't it? We'll talk about our weather another time, mate. Bit of a hurry. <laughs> this blockade back then, too. Going land crazy, and this dirty puddle won't do. One would suppose all this was for gold, or gum at least. Nothing but medicines to cure whatever ailments fester aboard their vessels. Syphilis and scurvy, no doubt. What noxious coffins these pirate ships must be. crocodiles tonight. I could have sworn I saw something past the boat. No. Nope. Quiet night. Are you sure? There's something in the water. Quiet till you showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. Oi! Stand still. Stop, I tell you. Oh. 
Hello! Is that right out yonder? The very same. Then speed along. You're expected. And you know how... Oh, Christ! It took him! It took him! I told you! Just row! For God's sake, row! I told you there was something. Didn't I tell you? Oh, God. Let's just get out of here. There was an accident. Private Simon! It's this crocodile. I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives. Near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender. Yeah, Volva. I don't see him. To surrender? I've been entrusted with... The... Listen to your betters. Hey, come back! Are you fearing us? God, the bastard's running. You surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Shoot him! Someone's off him, Captain! Stop him! He's going for the Captain! Do something, you fools! Careful with the gunfighter barrel! Save me, and flay all you devils! Ah! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two grates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Ah, uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rags? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain. Another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below.
you have a minute? I'm on my way upstairs. IDVA wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. Watch some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. Hi, Melanie, I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station. I'll update your communicator. You need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access.
You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. All right. Either you walk through that door, or throw yourself off the terrace. Those oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth all... Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now wait, the receptionist. Hold on, I'll try something. As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Too long. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray. It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh, you said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. Like I think the idea is that you're supposed to love your job enough 